Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura David and last year I made a video sharing my first year subjects and guess what? For the first video of 2022, I'll be doing the same but with my second year subjects because I promise ko sa inyo na every year gagawin ko to. Actually late na ako. Dapat gagawin ko to right after I finished my second year. Pero nasa kalagitnaan ako ng third year ko and hindi ko pa siya gagawin. Yikes. Anyways, my second year was also the first year of online classes so I'm so excited to share my experience. Before I move on to the video, I would like to take a minute to talk about this new app that is super helpful to all teachers out there. So hello po sa mga teachers na nanonood. We're gonna talk about Teach Mint. It is the answer to all of your online teaching needs. With Teach Mint, you can take live classes with an unlimited number of students for unlimited duration. And also, you get to record your online classes so students can view it later. Let me now talk about some specific features. So firstly, is the MCQ test creation feature. So with the Teach Mint app, you can create a test for your students in just two minutes. So all you have to do is to take a photo, select the correct answers, and share it with your students, and then ta-da! You know what? These tests are auto-corrected, so your students can see the results in real time. You also get other features like inbuilt whiteboard app to teach your students, and you can easily share your notes and assignments with your students. So this is all for free. It's absolutely free and also available in desktop Mode. So if you're a teacher, download the app today and check it out. So the link to download Teach Me can be found in the description box below. And if you're a student, I would really appreciate it if you show this to your teacher para mas convenient ang online classes experience nyo. I would like to thank Teach Me for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to talk about your wonderful app. So alright, let's get started! The first part of this video will be all about the subjects, like what they are about and the things we did. So again, every year, we have three terms and of course, we will start with the first term with the general subjects. The first one is Art Appreciation. So, we are self-explanatory about the arts. And ang nalala ko lang dito is meron kami mga modules about kunyari, the importance of art to people and technology o kaya how iconic artworks are made o kaya mga different art styles like Fauvism and Cubism. And then, I saw art appreciation as something similar to high school mape. So, meron din kami topic about photography. Tapos, pinapakata pa kami, pinasayaw, tapos pinagawa pa kami ng art na as in gamit illustration board. So, for our finals, gumawa lang ako ng video about Tini Kling. So, yes, sa uh, art appreciation namin, it's more on hands-on activities about art. Anything about art. Dito naman sa PE, yes, may PE pa rin kami ng second year. May mga required lang kami ng workout routine na kailangan namin gawin. Tapos, record namin sarili namin. Tapos, ipapasa namin sa professors. So, the routine includes like yoga, strength training, cardio, and many more. So, yun, para nag-work out na kami sa bahay. So, another subject I had is the contemporary world. It talks about the status of the world in terms of economies, religions, and sustainable development goals. So, puro module lang din siya, puro test, and yung puro discussion. The next subject I had is professional development. So, it's all about the tech industry, like the fields in it, o kaya ano yung mga possible careers namin or mga organizations na related sa tech and the soft skills we need once we graduate. It was mostly essays and case analysis or mga case studies na parang what would you do in this situation. The next three subjects I'm gonna share are something I also did in my past video. So check that out. So okay, next sa tayo. Applied Statistics. So for statistics naman, parang inulit ko lang yung naaral ko nung senior high school. Meron pa rin mga definition ng variables, difference ng inferential sa descriptive, mga determining sample sizes, mga um, sampling techniques like simple random sampling. So puro ganun ulit siya. Kaya nadalian ako dito kasi gamay na gamay ko na siya even before college. Another one is mathematical analysis. This is one of the general subjects na sobrang nahirapan ako kasi math. So, nag-start to with functions, then nagkaroon na kami ng mga graphs, 
and limits. Tapos dito ba rin, makikita yung mga differentiation. So, para siyang calculus. Advanced calculus. The next one I had is discrete structures 1. So, dito nag-start kami sa terms and definitions ng discrete data and continuous data. Then, meron kaming propositional logic, mga negation, conjunction, disjunction, exclusive or. Tapos, meron din kaming rules of replacement, like yung mga commutative law, associative law, the Morgan's law. Then, meron din dito mga proof of validity, sets, and Venn diagrams. So, kakasimula pa lang namin to ng discrete math. So, that was my first term. And for a second term, guys, Dito talaga ako nasampal ng kototohanan ang bobo ko pala. Na joke lang. Na dito nag-start yung mga major computer science subjects. So unang-una is discrete structures part 2. Very basic sa una. Nag-start kami sa divisibility rules, prime and composite numbers, pati GCD and LCM. Tapos nag-move on kami sa mga matrix, mga operations ito. Tapos meron din kami mathematical reasoning. So meron doon rules of inference and proving theorem. Kasama rin sa discrete structures too, ang um, permutation and combination plus discrete probability. Like, may mga sample problems kami na, kunyari, pag may isang deck ka ng card, ilan yung chance na queen yung madodraw mo. So, nag-end kami ng discrete structures too sa trees, like binary search tree and spanning trees. Actually, guys, sa second term, meron pa rin kami general subjects like English and physics, pero hindi ko na siya mag-aano i-explain kasi self-explanatory na siya at mas gusto ko mag-focus sa major subjects. So, speaking of another major subject, meron din kami computer systems and architecture, LEC and LAB. For the LEC, nagkaroon kami ng mini-review ulit ng binary conversions, components of a computer systems like input and output devices, and the difference between low-level and high-level language. So, CSA was more on how computers manage memory and parang paano nila din delegate yung task and ano yung uunahin nilang task. So, another terms na encounter namin are computer registers, flags register, partitioning, and paging computer bus. So, nung patapos na yung term, nagbulian algebra na kami, including laws, truth tables, and logic gates ulit. So, that's for lecture. So, for CSA lab naman, nag-assembly language kami. Tapos, sobrang hirap. Yung assembly language kasi, it's the opposite. It's more readable for computers than us human. So, ang daming kailangan na lines para lang makapag hello world ka. So, this is an example. Yan. So, para ganito yung assembly language namin sa CSA lab. So, for OOP, we learned all about encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, and abstraction. Dito kami nag-start mag-code and matuto ng Java kasi no first year, C++ lang kami and I think hanggang arrays and pointers lang. Tapos, no second year, ayun, uh, OOP, pero ang gamit namin ay Java. Ang finals namin for OOP is the MTA Java Certification, which I made a video about too. Ayan, check me yan. So, yun yung OOP like. For OOP lab naman, um, nag-ano lang kami, basics to advance na Java projects, like, need namin gumawa ng tic-tac-toe, o kaya required kami gumamit ng getters and setters, and yeah, puro hands-on activities kami sa OOP lab. The last major subject I had for second term is data structures and algorithm. Dun, dun, dun! So, ang um, DSA namin meron ding LEC and LAB. So, the DSA LEC, yun nga, puro discussion kung anong ginagawa ng queue, ng stack, ng leak list, at sasabog na utak ko every discussion. Sa DSA LAB naman, ganun din, sumasabog din utak ko kasi kailangan namin i-code yung mga natutunan namin sa DSA LEC. So, dito talaga ako naubusan ng brain cells. As in, parang, huh, ni ko kinaya. For finals ng DSA, meron dapat kami isolve na machine problem. But it's basically creating a movie rental system. At may defense pa. So, sobrang intense ng subject na to for me. Let's move on to the last term of my second year. So, the first subject I had ng third term is algorithms. So, yung algorithms sa subject, hindi siya yung parang uh, kung ano lang definition ng algorithm. Although, nag-start kami doon, Pero mas more on in-depth discussion sa iba't ibang algorithms ng ComSci. So, nandito yung mga time complexity like big O notations. Meron din dito yung mga divide and conquer, um, mga brute force algorithm. Pati nandito rin yung mga knapsack problem, traveling salesman problem, and so on. Next subject I had was design thinking, which is actually one of my favorite subjects. Kasi dito ko una na-encounter yung world of startups. Ayun, so uh, by the end of the term kasi meron kami competition. Dito ako natuto kung paano, ayun, kung paano mag-pitch, paano kumuusap sa mga investors, 
and everything else about startups. Another subject I had was fundamental of analytics. So from the word analytics, um, ayun po kami data and information and analysis. So um, nag start kami sa parang difference ng Ano difference ng descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive? Meron kami dito mga business of analytics, yung scope nito. And then the next subject I had was information management. Information management naman is our database subject. Meron din kaming LEC and LAB. So yung LEC dun namin natutunan yung all about database and saan siya ginagamit. Pati yung mga first normal form, second normal form. Sa so, IAM LAB naman, dito na kami nag-start ng MySQL or SQL. So sa finals namin ng information management lab, Dapat nakagawa kami ng management system. So, ang pinili namin ay senior high school management system. So, dapat meron kaming mga relational view, logical view, like this. Next subject I had was operating systems, like and lab. So, sa lecture, uh, pinag-usapan namin yung mga types of operating system, like batch operating system, distributed operating system, real-time operating system. It's all about operating systems. Like, para sila nag-work at ano yung mga dapat meron sa isang operating system. Sa lab naman, dito kami nag-start ng Linux. So, um, sa second year, di ba no first year, C++ lang kami. Sa second year, dumagdag ng Java, SQL, pati Linux. The last subject I had for my second year, third term is Perpcom or Purposive Communication. Actually, wala ako masyadong baalala dito. Ang naalala ko lang is, ang finals namin is this mini research, mini thesis. So, ang title namin is The Effect of Facebook as a New Source to the Political Views of College Students from FEU Alabang. So, yun, mini thesis lang siya. That's all for my first term, second term, third term, second year, computer science. Subject. Before I end this video, I would like to remind you guys a few things or mga tips na natutunan ko this second year. So, first one is take a break. A lot of them. So, na-release ko na mas hindi ako nakakakilos productively pagpagod ako or pag pinipilit ko sarili ko mag-aral kahit mentally drained ako. Don't forget to a lot time for the hobbies or yung mga things na enjoy mo kasi dun ka ulit na ma-motivate. Next reminder I have for you is grades aren't everything. I'm not saying na masama mag-aim for high grades or masama maging grade conscious kasi ganun ako. Always remember that sometimes um, just being able to pass the class is enough. So avoid beating yourself up just because hindi ka nakapag 94% and above. Another tip for you guys is to start learning outside the classroom. So na-realize ko na kulang pa talaga yung natuturo sa amin kasi hindi kunyari hindi ba maraming fields yung tech like may cloud computing, may UI UX, may machine learning. Hindi lahat siya tinuturo sa um, school. So if you are interested in one field, you should start learning outside the classroom and look for online resources that can help you like YouTube or mga online courses and start self-studying. What I also mean by learning outside the classroom is immerse yourself in different programs. Marami student programs out there that can help you hone your technical skills and your soft skills na sobrang importante sa tech industry. Another one is building side projects and creating a portfolio is really important. So I suggest na you start early as now. Hindi ako nakapag-start ng side projects or pet projects ko last year. Pero hopefully, this third year ko, makapag-start na ako. And then, the last tip or reminder I have for you guys is to join an organization. Org, org, org talaga. So, ang daming benefits sa pagiging member ng isang organization at mas madaming benefits ang pagiging officer ng isang community or organization. I was able to make friends kahit online because of joining organizations. And I have met a lot of people by joining organizations. And ang dami ko rin nag-gain na connections. At grabe yung soft skills din na natutunan ko. One advice I got from... Um, a person na nasa tech industry is dapat muna ka makisama. And I was able to practice that yung pagiging, yung makikisama by joining organization. Ang dami ko nasubukan ng organizations sa second year ko and I had no regrets kasi it led me to where I am now and mas na-open ako sa mga iba't ibang fields ng tech. I was able to see different perspectives from different creative people and yeah, joining organizations lang is has been so much fun for me. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment it below or reach out to my social media accounts. So I'm most active at my Facebook page, but I also post a little content then sa akin TikTok. So don't forget to check those out. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!